All right, so now I'm back to working on this thing. I made a repair here not long ago. I replaced all those pieces all over the sides. And I'll try and make a video of that as well. But they put it all back together ready to work. Forgot that they had this crack over here, which is here. before by me actually but while it was on the machine which is very difficult to access so I was only able to um, gouge you know here as best I could and here and there was some down here that needed some welding as well it held up here for a while but it just jumped over I guess it went across the top that was an old fix as well but so very similar fashion to that other one what I'm going to try and do is, I'm going to try and cut this section right here and this right here and put in a patch plate there. That way I can have some backer plates here, backer plates here. This most likely has one, but I don't want to chance it anymore because it's already got too many little star, you know, spider web cracks kind of, kind of deal. And so I'll cut that loose and hopefully that'll let this relax a little bit further down and hopefully let this pop back up the way it's supposed to be and under here as well. It's got some cracks. I don't like those, but I'll just try and fix those as they are. But I think once I get this plate here, I replace, it should hold pretty strong from that point forward. So, like I say, uh, next step is to try and see if, if I can, let me see, maybe cut this loose here and see if this relaxes any. Maybe. Hopefully. Sort of. We'll see. If not, I've got some kind of some plate dog, screw dogs that push down on this this spot right here. Kind of put it back into place. I'll be gouging this line right here. It's for about about up to here, maybe about three inches or so past the crack. That way, it goes back to the original parent metal. Hopefully, it can sit back down where it's supposed to be. Same with up here. I'll try and gouge all that off. Success. Crack pretty good, almost two-thirds of the way up here it's a good one but as they say relax it's only metal and uh, so I'll give it my best shot all right we'll see you guys
arterial crack. The crack is almost linear, like the crack's not straight through the material, the crack goes at a diagonal. So I'm gonna try and torch right through the right through right the center of the crack. Kind of if, if there's any linear or you know, it's hard to explain. But uh backing plate now kind of screwed it up so let's see I guess you can't see yeah, you kind of had an angle and I got the wrong angle so it's an upside down bevel which kind of stinks but that's all right um, once I get this flattened and cleaned up I actually can put a, a wide piece of um, backing plate in here and that'll be just the same, so it'll be fine. Just not what I expected. It'll cut a little differently than I thought. But it's all fixable. So looking good so far. All right, hang tight. Okay, so I almost forgot a couple steps here, but uh, hopefully I can catch up to speed. So basically, this had popped up a little bit. It was out of line, so using the clamps here with that bar to kind of hold it straight and I welded this up here from this inside here and so I'll have to do some cleaning from the underside when I flip it over but that's no big deal so this is almost like a root pass starting with the root first for the back side kind of weird either way it works and so I cut a piece of flat bar to use as a backing strip it's just a quarter by four or a quarter by three or something and I like these mechanical jacks that you use off of cars. They're really handy and really, really strong. And so now the next step is, of course, to try and fill this gap. It's a great big gap, but that way I can get a better uh, route pass, to say. 
and I'll run a couple passes with a flux core. I use a Fab Shield 21B. And once I get a little bit closer to the end or to the cap, like past the hot pass, I guess, I'll start running 7018s. And so that's next. Get the flux core out and start welding. And we'll see. I guess uh, so hang tight. Some of you guys may know this or some of you guys might not, but um, when it's a little cold, sometimes these valves are a little too delicate or touchy. So what you can do is just put this, uh, tighten this little nut right here just a tiny little bit. And it'll tighten these guys up. So, now, bevel.
the grinder, or maybe not. Okay, so I had them lay it over on its side, and uh, this is the mess that I made from this one. From the inside, I just welded a, a weld pass to try and bridge the gap. But being on this side now, what I'll do is I'll arc gouge all that out, and then we at least I have some material. I didn't put a backing plate on that one, and then I'll just gouge, continue that way, that way. Uh, this has some cracks here, continue that way and then just get to, uh, fill it all up so almost there good thing i saw that that looks like it's cracked there as well so looking good hard to do that side fortunately we can move it around so it's not bad all right hang tight
before I got too far, that's pretty much done. Got that welded up, all that welded up. I still need to weld this side up. It's most likely gonna get dark by the time I'm done, so thought I'd finish it out by showing you guys uh, the progress or the final outcome of this. I use my needle scaler right there to kind of peck at that a little bit. And so uh, I like to I like the texture it gives, and that way when you paint over it, it almost doesn't look like it was welded. And of course here you'll be able to tell it's welded, but it'll almost look factory-ish, sort of. So anyway, that'll do it. Pretty straightforward repair. And I uh, hope you guys dig it. See you guys.